Good morning everybody who is listening to me right now. I'm going to talk on the topic about juvenile violence. Uh, before we can go into detail, let us try to look at what is juvenile. Now, juvenile, by definition, it is uh, young children who are under the age uh, between 5 and 17. Here in Uganda, we categorize them as uh, young people. Now, juvenile violence means that these are the children whose behavior are unsocial. How are they unsocial to the community? This means that their behavior is not compatible with the usual way, the custom way, how things are to be done. Example, some of these children they take alcohol, they sniff uh, petrol, uh, they chew what is called cut, and some of them take marijuana, and this leads them to stealing, uh, they lead them into immoral behavior, and so forth. So all these kind of behavior are quite unsocial in a community. So once we have known what is this juvenile uh, violence, we need to tackle what really caused this juvenile violence in a community. First and foremost, I want to talk about the role of the parents, because here is the beginning of the whole thing. When you talk of parenting, this is a process of the parent to nurture, socialize, and provide the basic needs of a child in order to get holistic growth and development. Now, once the parents are unable to provide them their basic needs, such as food, medication, education, clothing, and shelter, the child is bound to find the alternative avenue by which he or she can reliable, feel comfortable. Now, we find that if the parents are unable to provide those basic needs, that means that that is poor parenting already because they are failing their cardinal uh, obligation or responsibility to look after these children. Now, these children, as you can see, they do not have a comfortable place at home. They will go outside and get this uh, peer influence which they adapted from outside. Now, this poor parenting, of course, has resulted into so many consequences. Uh, other cases which bring about this juvenile violence spring from the rape mothers because these rape mothers, they found themselves pregnant. Now, the children they are going to produce definitely this abastite. They don't have their uh, parent who should supposed to look into the welfare of the child. Now, this rape mothers is very uncomfortable in a sense that she feel uh, demoralized in the society where she lives. Now, there are cases of unwanted pregnancy of these young people, maybe even in a family when the child is not really programmed. This child who is born uh, will be not really welcome. And of course, if it is not nurtured properly, this child will get the influence from their colleagues or their peer group outside. Uh, another source of this juvenile violence, uh, violence comes about in a broken marriage where there is a constant domestic violence whereby the husband and the wife is misunderstanding on other issues in their home. Uh, secondly, we find that HIV AIDS is quite rampant. Sometimes you'll find that in a family, uh, the parents are wiped out because of the HIV AIDS cause. Now, 
these children may be taken care of the caregivers who may not be particularly concerned with the welfare and the development and growth of the child. So this child definitely will find his home place outside in the street. Uh, another causes of this uh, juvenile violence comes about because or poor status of the parents. Now, once these parents are poor, they are unable to provide what actually a child needs. Because even the parents themselves will find that they are unable to support themselves economically. Another source is the TV programs. In the social media, there are certain programs which are not really good for the parents, I mean, for the pupils or children to watch. And when they get addicted to some of those programs, he or she learns a lot. Things which a child ought not to learn. So from there, he learns so many uh, unsocial behavior which they watch on the TV. Now, what are the impacts of this uh, juvenile violence to the 